today we are going to derive the formula for laplace transform of sin h at or hyperbolic sin of at now to derive the formula of laplace transform of hyperbolic sin at we are going to make use of definition of laplace transform now what is definition of laplace transform so let's start so i want to find out laplace transform of hyperbolic sin at so we'll start with the definition so here i'll say by the definition of laplace transform we have laplace of a function of t is equal to integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t that is function of t with respect to t now let's use this definition to find out the laplace of hyperbolic sin at so laplace of hyperbolic sin at equal to so if i'll compare this hyperbolic sin at with this laplace of f of t then we can say that this f of t is equal to hyperbolic sin at so here on the right hand side also we'll substitute f of t as hyperbolic sin at so this will become e raised to minus st hyperbolic sin at into dt that is with respect to t now to get the value of integration of e raised to minus st hyperbolic sin at with respect to t we will convert that hyperbolic sin function in exponential function with the help of one formula now what is the formula the formula is hyperbolic sin of theta is equal to e raised to theta minus e raised to minus theta upon 2. Now, if I compare this hyperbolic sin at term with this sin h theta, then this at is equal to theta. So now, in this formula, we will substitute theta as at. So we will get is equal to integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus st into e raised to at minus e raised to minus at upon 2 into dt that is with respect to t now here i will take 1 upon 2 which is constant outside the integration so here we will get 1 by 2 integration 0 to infinity and now i will multiply this bracket with e raised to minus st term so e raised to minus st into e raised to at will become e raised to minus s plus a into t so we are adding the exponents next the middle sign is negative e raised to minus st into e raised to minus at will give us e raised to minus s minus a into t dt now let's find out the integration of these two terms so here we will get 1 by 2 as it is and the integration of e raised to minus st plus a into t is e raised to minus s plus a into t upon derivative of minus s plus a into t and that derivative is minus s plus a minus here we will get e raised to minus s minus a into t upon minus s minus a which is the derivative of minus s minus a into t and we have limit from 0 to infinity now before substituting the limit let's observe the terms so here in the first term if i want to substitute the upper limit that is infinity then here we'll get this minus s plus a into infinity and infinity into the finite term is equal to infinity so e raised to infinity will give us infinity it means in the answer we will get one term as infinity and when we will add anything in infinity or subtract something from infinity then also the final answer will be infinity hence infinity is not acceptable therefore what we have to do is 
by anyhow we have to convert this power as minus infinity now why because e raised to minus infinity is equal to 0 so by doing that we can get value as 0 which is the finite value now to make the power or the exponent as minus infinity I need to take minus sign out of these brackets so let's see the first term so in the first term if I'll take minus sign outside then this s will become positive in the bracket and this a will become negative in the bracket so we'll get is equal to 1 by 2 inside the bracket e raised to minus n outside s minus a by t upon minus s plus a next middle sign negative here if i'll take negative sign outside then we'll get s plus a in the bracket so this will become e raised to minus s plus a into t upon minus of s plus a from 0 to infinity. Now here this minus minus will become plus. So we will get 1 by 2 e raised to minus of s minus a into t upon minus s plus a minus minus plus e raised to minus of s plus a into t upon s plus a from 0 to infinity and now we will substitute upper limit and lower limit so the upper limit is infinity here we'll get 1 by 2 into e raised to t is infinity so we'll get minus infinity upon minus s plus a plus e raised to minus infinity upon s plus a middle sign is negative now let's substitute the lower limit lower limit is 0 so 0 into the finite term is 0 so e raised to 0 upon minus s plus a plus e raised to 0 upon s plus a now as i told you that e raised to minus infinity is 0 so we will get this first term as 0 minus this will become 1 upon because e raised to 0 is 1 minus s plus a this will become minus plus minus e raised to 0 is 1 upon s plus a now I can take this minus sign outside the bracket that will become minus half and in the bracket we will get 1 upon this is a minus s plus 1 upon a plus s so i'm just writing the first term as second that is negative term second and the positive term first so here by doing the cross multiplication we will get minus 1 by 2 into a plus s plus a minus s upon a minus s into a plus s now here this positive s and negative s will be cancelled we will get a plus a that is 2a so because of this minus n we'll get minus 2a upon 2 and this is a minus s a plus s that is the formula of a square minus s square now again 2 and 2 is cancelled so in numerator we got a and now i will shift this negative sign in the denominator and because of that this negative s square will become positive s square and this positive a square will become negative a square so we got the value of integration as a upon s square minus a square so we were finding the laplace of sin h a t and now i can say that it is equal to a upon s square minus a square thank you